What a beautiful land, Abram. This is Canaan, I'll say, right? Are we in Canaan already? This is Canaan, isn't it, Uncle Abram? This is Canaan. Oh, we couldn't ask for a better place to live. Look at the wide valley, the lovely green grass, olive groves, springs, large oak trees. Ah, it is truly a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place, Sarai, a a beautiful land. Ah, But the people, they depress me. They're idolaters, an alien race. They actually offer human sacrifices. How could any people be so foolish, forgetful? Only a little over three centuries ago, the flood destroyed wickedness. How could it have gained a foothold so quickly? And Abram and his entourage came to the land of Canaan and dwelt there. And there came a famine in the land of Canaan. But Uncle Abram, we've got to do something. The cattle and sheep are about to starve, to say nothing of our families. I know, I know, Lot. I'll talk it over with Sarai and let you know. You're asking my advice, Abram? Yes. You are my wife. We are partners. You have a right to help make decisions. It's your duty. Well, there's a famine, Abram. Why? Because there's been no rain. The brooks and rivers have ceased to flow. All this has caused the grass and vegetation to wither and die. There's no food. God, the God that you worship, controls the rain and rivers and grass and vegetation. He's permitted these things to happen, Abram. I think God is testing you. Testing me? To teach you, mold you into his own image. Yes, yes, I I think you're right. My, my first reaction was to go back to Mesopotamia. But I'm sure God doesn't want me to do that. We've got to go somewhere, somewhere where there's food. I understand that the land of the Nile is rich in foods and that the king is generous and deals kindly with strangers. Then we're going to Egypt? We'll go to Egypt temporarily. Sarai? Yes, Abram? You're beautiful. (laughs) Well, to you, perhaps. You are beautiful, Sarai, and I... I hear that the king of Egypt is... Well, that he has a mania for beautiful women. Well, that eliminates me. I'm serious, Sarai. The Egyptian king does have a mad desire to possess all beautiful women. But I'm married to you, remember? He wouldn't want to marry a woman that's already married... Even kings have that much honor. Uh, But, Sarai, please, please listen to me. You have no idea how unscrupulous those Egyptian kings are. They stop at nothing to get what they want. When he sees you, I know he'll want you, and he wouldn't hesitate one minute to get rid of me so he could have you. Get rid of you? Kill me! Oh! So I, I... I think we should keep it a secret from the king that we are man and wife Well, we'll tell him that we are brother and sister. Lie? You? Abram, the man of faith? Well, it it isn't a lie, exactly. We we are brother and sister. Half brother and sister. Well, anyway, it's not a lie to tell the king we are brother and sister. It's deception, Abram. Yes, perhaps, but uh, it's necessary in this case to save my life. Don't you have faith and trust in God that he'll protect you from the king? Yes, but God will do for us only those things we cannot do for ourselves. And and this is one of those cases. I think it is my duty to tell the king we're brother and sister, even if it is a, a deception. Oh, just the same, Abram. I, I don't think any good can come from lies, deception. And it came to pass that when Abram was come to Egypt, the Egyptians beheld Sarai that she was very fair. The thing was told Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Sarai! 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 Sarai, where are you? Greetings, Uncle Abram. Lot, where is your Aunt Sarai? 
You you don't know? Lot, where is she? She... They took her away. Took her away? To the king's palace. Who did? The princes and servants of the king. The king has... Uncle Abram, what's the matter? Nothing that I... Well, that, that I... Uh, Lot, please go. Leave me alone. But Uncle Abram... Sure, Lot, you don't... please go. Oh, oh, all right, Uncle Abram. Oh, God in heaven, God of mercy, show now thy mercy to me. Forgive me for transgressing thy law. Punish me for the lie I told, but, oh, God, do not punish Sarai. It was I, oh, God, not Sarai. Oh, forgive me, forgive me, and, and bring Sarai back to me, alive and safe. It is a sin to lie, O oh God, and I'm sorry. Never again will I tell a falsehood. Never again will I mistrust thee or lose faith. Oh, forgive me and keep Sarai safe. Bring us together again, and, and thy name shall be honored and glorified. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram unto him and said, What is it that you have done to me, Abram? Why did you not tell me Sarai was your wife? Ignorantly, I was about to do her and you serious injury. But your God interposed, Abram, and saved me from doing this great sin against you. I beg his majesty's pardon and forgiveness. Mm. Uh, granted, Abram. Your God does you honor, Abram. He protects you. Obviously, it is a dangerous thing to harm a worshipper of your God. Is this protection normal, or does your God give you special protection? No, Your Majesty. The God of heaven protects all who honor and love and worship him. Obviously, I cannot permit you to remain in Egypt, lest I harm you and your God punish me again. Here now is your wife. Take her and go thy way. And Abram went out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot went with him. O oh God, I thank you for your great mercy in granting me forgiveness. May I always remember that when one becomes a child of God... There is no excuse for falsehood or deception. And they returned unto Canaan, the land of promise. <laughs> 